Welcome to Daily News Updates by the Shipping Tribune. Here we bring to you the latest maritime daily news in a short form video format. Please subscribe for regular updates. Freight Market Scenario by Segal Sea Trade On 8 September, the Asia Pacific Regional Panamax freight rates were unchanged. The Asia Pacific Supermax freight rate was slightly improved. The Cape size freight rates were mixed. And the Pacific Handy size activity was weak. Dry bulk market, Cape size is stabilized by the end of the week. The Cape size market witnessed an eventful week. It began energetically in the Pacific, where all three major players actively participated, leading to a positive response to the C5 market. As the week progressed, the market experienced fluctuations in trading volumes, resulting in the market remaining relatively stable by the middle of the week. However, with the substantial cargo volume, owners started to exhibit resistance, injecting a sense of bullish sentiment into the market and resulting in a further rise in rates. In contrast, the Atlantic market saw limited discussions and activity at the beginning of the week. However, as Lakans shifted forward, owners were able to show some resistance. As the week unfolded, there was a gradual uptick in activity marked by fresh inquiry in the North Atlantic. This led to more robust fixtures being concluded and an increase in trading levels from South Brazil and West Africa to the Far East. The week concluded positively with improved fixtures in both the Pacific and North Atlantic, leading to increased rates and a promising outlook. Shipping could face shortage of carbon neutral fuel by 2030, DNV says. An expected shortfall in the availability of carbon neutral fuel means the shipping industry should widen its scope to include onboard carbon capture and nuclear options, Norwegian ship certifier DNV said on Thursday. The industry has been testing a number of cleaner fuel options, including ammonia and methanol, as well as trailing wind sails in an effort to look for new solutions away from dirtier bunker fuel. Shipping transports around 90% of world trade and accounts for nearly 3% of the world's carbon dioxide emissions. Global container freight still stalled. Global industrial production and containerized freight flows remained in the doldrums at the start of the third quarter, confounding predictions earlier in the year for a strong rebound. Manufacturers and distributors in North America and Europe were struggling to reduce excess inventories after the post-pandemic rotation from goods to services spending. Rising interest rates and a cost of living squeeze have also dampened expenditure on expensive long-lived durable items. US, India, Saudi, EU unveiled rail ports deal on G20 sidelines. Global leaders announced a multinational rail and ports deal linking the Middle East and South Asia on Saturday on the sidelines of the G20 summit in New Delhi. The pact comes at a critical time as US President Joe Biden seeks to counter China's Belt and Road push on global infrastructure by pitching Washington as an alternative partner and investor for developing countries at the G20 grouping. Biden said it was a real big deal that would bridge ports across two continents and lead to a more stable, more prosperous and integrated Middle East. He said at an event announcing the pact that it would unlock endless opportunities for clean energy, clean electricity and laying cable to connect communities. Thank you for watching the video. Please hit the like button if you like the video. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to the Shipping Tribune YouTube channel if you haven't already.